Hey guys, what's up? Commando here. Welcome to my uh, WWE TLC 2014 predictions video. It's rather, rather cold. That's why I've got this bloody uh, Under Armour thing on. I've just bought a few more of them uh, last night. I bought a, f a few different stuff because it's really cold. Really ridiculously cold. Um, we got snow this week. I think we got it first night. Would have been Wednesday night. Or technically a Thursday morning. Cause it was like 2 in the morning when I noticed it. It's not been too bad the last couple nights though. As bad as it was then. Um, but it's bloody cold. Don't like it. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, let's get on to this. There's actually a lot of matches for this. It's quite shocking. There's like 10 matches including the pre-show. Which is uh, pretty insane. Actually, no, sorry. Nine matches, including the pre-show. Okay, well, let's go on to that. Pre-show match is the first one. It's a NEW DAY! Versus Gold and Stardust. Uh, it's kind of a random little feud, this. There hasn't really been a reason for them. Like, they haven't really explained why they're... Like, why Gold is not is, is fighting, is wanting to fight the New Day. It's really weird. Um... But I'm guessing the new day will win. It's supposed to be Biggie and Kofi Kingston, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how they know this, but that's what they're saying. Uh, I'm going with the new day. I like them. I like their entrance and that. Um, the whole new day. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. Uh, but go with the new day win. Uh, next, we have Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt in a table as and chairs match. I'm sure this match will be awesome. Sure, it'll probably be. I would say, yeah, this could be match tonight. Uh, I'm going with. I don't know. This is kind of a hard one. It's really like there wasn't really a clear winner last time. I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt. You never know. Roman Reigns could return and do something here, or he could do something in the Rollins thing. Or Orton could return at some point, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go with Bray Wyatt. I don't know, I just feel like he's gonna win it. Anyways, not really much to say. It's been good promos and that with him, it's been alright. Pretty decent build up. I thought the thing with the ambulance... That was awesome. That was truly awesome. Like when Dean Ambrose come out and the smoke was there and he's standing there with his tongue out and everything. He's looking like a right badass. I thought that was an, an awesome moment, really did. That was really, really cool. Um, anyways, next we've got Ryback versus Kane in a cheers match. Uh, I think Ryback should win this. It makes sense for him to win it anyway. I don't really need Kane to win this. We can have pointless. Um, I like the, th the food thing with them when Kane was concessions Kane. I thought that was really funny. Um, but apart from that, there's not really been much built. You'd think this whole thing, like, you'd think like, the authority versus the. Like, the other guys was still happening. It still seems like that's happening. You know, like the way the, ever, like the matches and stuff have ended, like the main match and stuff. Um, you'd think it was still authority versus that. Like you th you'd be think there was a match like that a way to happen again, like the way things have been going. Um, but uh, right back from this, and it should be an all right match, seeing as it's a chairs match. At least it's an, like a weapons match is. O always gonna be better. Like a cane match is boring, but at least there's weapons. Uh, there's a chance of being decent. Um, next we got uh, Cena, John Cena versus Seth Rollins in a tables match. If Cena loses, he'll no longer be a number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, there was quite a good promo on SmackDown. I just watched SmackDown with uh, Rollins said some good stuffs. Um, I, th I thought it was weird. He called him a cat, like he, like he didn't, you know, he, he didn't say you're a cat, but he was just like he was talking, like you know, like somebody will say brother or bro or whatever. He said cat. I, I thought that was really funny. Uh, but oh god, stupid screen. Uh, but I'm gonna go with. It seems like Cena will win it. Like I don't see him losing this number one contender thing because Lesnar's supposed to return. The night after on Raw, but some people are saying that Orton might return in this match, cause, and you know, go after Rollins. Maybe he'll go after Rollins, but like, he'll end up costing Cena. Oh, it's like no, that better not happen. I, I don't want to see Orton versus Cena again. Um, I don't know. 
I'm gonna go with Cena to win, but I could see there'd be some shenanigans in this match. Maybe Roman Reigns will turn too. But where the hell is Roman Reigns gonna go? Like, because Orton wants to face Rollins. Roman Reigns wants to face Rollins. Um, but Roman Reigns and Orton were like hating each other before, but now they're like both good guys, so they want to like kiss each other. So I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. I don't know. Anywho, next one: The Miz and Damian Mizdow versus the Usos. Got my necklace right here. It's too cold to wear that. I'm not wearing that around my neck. It's freezing. Um, this one has actually been an, an alright kind of build to it. There's actually been like a, a bit of a story to it, like with Miz going after Naomi, Naomi, whatever. Uh, like trying to get her to do some agency thing or something. It's actually been pretty decent. Um, and Miz though being, being Miz though has always been awesome. Uh, even had a little stunt slammy on SmackDown. It was pretty good. I don't know how the hell they did that. That was just pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it was like an official thing or what, but it's Miz Dow, he's awesome. Uh, I th and I'm thinking that this whole thing with Miz Dow and that's going to end at the Rumble. I think they're both going to be in there in the match, and Miz Dow's going to eliminate Miz, and that could be the end of it. I think that'll that's where it'll end. It is sort of starting to think yet, like they're not really... I mean, it's still good, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's sort of fizzling out a little bit. It's I, I like I still really enjoy it. It's still funny, but I think it's f losing its its thing. So I think it'll probably I can see ending there the rumble. And I'm gonna go with Miz Dow and Miz to to win the titles, retain the titles. Uh, next we got Eric Rowan, Big Red, as JBL would say, versus the Big Show in a steel stairs match. Now. There was an absolutely sick moment. I think it was last week on Raw, or that would be like 79 weeks according to Michael Cole. Uh, where Big Show hit him with the ch stairs and then he dropped the stairs and this corner of it landed on Eric Rowan's head. I was like, oh my god, it was sick. So sick and Rowan was fucking jumping all over the place. And a massive fucking lump on his, on his head. Um, oh man, that was that had to fucking hurt. That was just insane, so fucking insane. Big Show's but looking at him like a ferret, and then he just went away laughing. That obviously wasn't meant to happen, but uh, it was just it was sick. It was sick. Um, but I think Rowan's gonna win this one. I'm actually quite surprised at how well he's doing on his own. Um, and it, it's funny, you, like you see him and he's walking really slow, and you look like he, he can barely walk. And then he'll just all of a sudden start running, and he'll start doing that roundhouse kick thing. Um, I think I'm just surprised at how like agile and that he is, um, and I'm kind of interested to see where they're going to go with him, where they're going to what they're going to do with him. Um, but Eric Rowan to win the Steel Stairs match, the first ever Steel Stairs match. Um, next we have Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler in a ladder match, then they're going to the championship. I see this one being a really good one as well. Uh, I think this and Ambrose Wyatt will be like, the two best matches, I would say. Uh, but this this one's been okay. There's been a few good matches with them on SmackDown, I think, both times. Uh, I th think Luke Harper will retain here. I, w I don't think he'll lose it already. I think Luke Harper will win this one. I think it'll be a pretty insane match. These two are pretty wild wrestlers. Uh, Luke Harper for the win. Uh, it'd be good if there was more promos between the two. It'd be good to see that, but apart from that there hasn't really been a great build to it. Uh, next one, we have Rusev versus Jack Swagger for the United States Championship. Swagger should win and should have won ages ago, but he won. Rusev will win again. It would be good to see Swagger actually win and, you know, have them do something with him. But, no. It won't happen. Rusev will still bloody win. Uh, there's an okay build to this as well. Uh, Zeb broke his leg. Um, and so now Swagger's like trying to break Rusev's ankle. Um, actually, Zeb's just out for some surgery with his legs. He's been struggling to walk or something. He's st struggled to walk ever since he like came into the WWE. Last year, I think it was. Um, he has always had a bit of a hobble on him. 
I thought it was just because he was maybe a little bit overweight or something, but apparently it is something to do with his his legs, so I don't know when he'll return. Um anywho, I'll say Rusev to win. Next one and the final one, finally, it took ages to get here, but we're there. It's Nikki Bella Oh my god, I don't like her. Versus AJ Lee for the Divas Championship. Now hopefully this one lasts longer than 30 seconds, unlike the last match. Um, hopefully they've got a good match. Um, unlikely though, because uh, you know, Vince is in charge of the main roster, so that won't happen. Um, after that amazing match, NXT TakeOver, Fatal for uh, our Revolution, between Sasha Banks and Charlotte. It was an awesome match. Truly awesome match. Um, but you won't see that on the main roster, because uh, Vince, you know, logic. Uh, if it says he's in touch with the fans, Clearly not. Just look at NXT. Yeah, I talk all about that in my review. If you want to see me more, I can go. I go into that big time in the NXT Takeover review. You can go and check that out. Um, but I see Nikki winning this. I doubt, I doubt AJ would win. But then they do sometimes change the titles after a month. I mean, if, like that would be no titles changing hands if this. Maybe maybe AJ will win. But then no titles have changed hands at Fury before. Um, but I did like um, AJ's, maybe that was, I can't remember if that was before the last peer review or after, um, where she said that talent isn't sexually transmitted, that was awesome. And she said something else before that match as well, it was really good. She let AJ do more pipe bombs and stuff, it's really good. Um, and Nikki Bella had some promo that got edited on Smackdown, uh, I think it was last week, or the week before. Um, and I, I did find it like on somebody's Instagram or something, and somebody had like it wrote a transcript thing of it. And what a load of shit she spoke in it! Like, um, she said something about oh being a classy woman, yeah, so classy parading your dillies on fucking total divas every week, um, and being an alcoholic, so so classy, and uh, saying that, that she's a a natural woman or some shit. Yeah, that, that bag's of silicone down there. That's totally, uh, that's oh so natural right there. And I'm sure you've had some stuff done to your face as well, because you look like a right ferret. Such a muppet. Such a moron. Shit that she speaks. And so, like I said, there's something like a, a wrestling site that I go on. And somebody's like, oh, you don't know how a heel works or some shit. And I was like, but this is how she is in real life as well, so... It's, that's, that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing, it's so stupid. Anyhow, so that's it. So feel free to tell me your predictions. It's quite a big uh, thing. And I read a thing as well about uh, um, saying that TLC is um, going to be like it's going to be better than Takeover. Like they're hoping it, it's better because because of the success of Takeover. The will be. I ah, hear it goes. Here's the exact quote. There's a feeling that Sunday's TLC pay per view will probably be better than it would have been due to the success of TakeOver. They said this exact same thing at the last, like, every thing, every NXT, um, um, NXT special thing, and it never happens, it's, NXT's always better, and it won't, that TLC won't be better. They maybe have a couple of good matches, but it will not be better than TakeOver, it was just so good. Um, I even said, I even left a comment uh, saying, you guys said this at the last NXT special and the one before it, and NXT was still better. It always will be better as long as Vince in charge of the monster. Fact. It's just simple, you know? I mean, I go into it, I'm not going to get into it now because I went into it so much in the TakeOver thing. If you want to see it, you can go and, you can go and check that. Because um, uh, I love NXT, it just... You know, just 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 go and watch it if you if you didn't already. Um, you'll see how much I uh, loved it. Um, I was just blown away by uh, a few of the things. Um, but that's it. Feel free to tell me what you're thinking for TLC. Randy Orton return. Roman Reigns return. Tell me what you're thinking. Um, that's it. I t watching Takeover last night kind of ruined me. I didn't get up till three today. I usually got up around twelve. I wasn't sleeping till about five in the morning. Um, surprisingly I feel okay right now, even with that little sleep. Well, ten hours isn't little, but when you only get about four or five hours through the week, it kind of has a toll on you. Um, but, 
here's hoping I get a better sleep tonight, so I'm all good for DLC. I'm away to... Well, I'm going to hope to get this uploaded right now, as soon as possible. I'm going to... I was going to watch that WWE Superstars thing, but I'm probably... If I watch it on the network, I can't, I can't upload, because it just... The, the video player just won't work for some reason. Um, so, I'll probably go and get something to eat. And I've got three American dads to watch. And EastEnders, and... A Big Bang Theory, so... I'll probably watch maybe half of that, and then... Once this is uploaded, watch the Superstars thing. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Show that like button some love. And here's hoping it gets bloody warmer, because I'm not liking this. It's too cold for me. I've, I've bought gloves, I've bought socks, I've bought more of this, like, I think it's called compression something, or under armour stuff. I've bought the legging stuff as well. Because it's too freaking cold. It's too cold. I'll wait to see if the bloody heating's on as well, because this is ridiculous. Anyhow, see you later. Bye, this guy.